And then a week later, I, I had it. a dream with a, uh, an invitation to my cousin's baby shower. I'm like, Amanda's not pregnant. My parents call me the next day. Guess what? Amanda's pregnant. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. I don't know what's happening. I'm a witch. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. I dream about good things and bad things. But I guess that's another. <laughs> is that a fun fact? This is Up and Country, powered by V Livecast. I'm your host, Sue Bonzel bringing you rising country artists direct from Nashville. Now let's get this show started. She has shared the stage with the likes of Sam Hunt, Chris Jansen, Ashley McBride, and so many more. I am excited. Carolyn Miller is here. Welcome, Carolyn. Ooh, hello. Thank you for yeah, having me. Of course. Okay, you are just like such high energy. <laughs> I love your energy. I'm excited that you're here. Now, you have a new song. I do. Okay, so this is the song. I've been watching you on like TikTok and, and Instagram and all the things. Um, and so this is kind of like a wedding song. So this is, we're calling it like the wedding song, right? Is this the one? Um, this is, so the wedding song is kind of like my TikTok one that went viral okay, that, that people okay, love. That's the, the one, one okay. that just came out, not a wedding song, but it's a long-term relationship song. Oh, well, there you go. Catering to maybe married couples, so it can work. Okay, <laughs> well, I want to, first I want to talk about the wedding song. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so I, I've seen that a lot of people are using this song yeah. at their wedding. Yes. How does that make you feel? Oh, you know, it's so crazy because... When I wrote this song, I wrote it as a gift for my husband the month of our wedding. It was purely just to be a gift for him. There was no intention to record it and release it. Mm -hmm. And so when I wrote it, I really wrote it from a place of just like, what do I want to say to Kevin, my husband, on our wedding day? And then when the pandemic happened and I discovered (laughs) tickety-talk, as so many of us did, and then spent way too much time on the app, as so many of us did, one day last year, I was just like, you know, let me share a clip of the song just for fun and was not expecting it to get 300,000 views in a matter of a few hours. Oh my goodness. And then it went to about a million, and then there were 10,000 or like 8,000 comments of people being like, when are you releasing this? Release the song. And so I just thought, man, maybe I have to do something with it and put it out. It charted really high. And so to see brides using this song all over the world to walk down the aisle to is, number one, so unexpected and wasn't, you know, intention for a commercial release, but it makes it even that much more special that people resonated with this song in such a way that they want it to be a part of their special day. And so I get tagged in videos, um, South Africa, someone walked down the aisle to it in South Africa. Just last weekend, someone got married in Ireland and they had their wedding band perform it as she walked down the aisle. Wow! And so I get, I got tagged in a video in Malta. I didn't even know where Malta was. I had to Google it and be like, it's, it's off the island of Croatia. You learn something new every day. Didn't know that. But I mean, the, the, the incredible thing with these social media apps is you can reach anyone in the world. And the fact that it's just resonated has, has been just mind blowing and so special. That is so cool. Now you have a, there's a video and the video is from your wedding, right? Yes. These are, these are clips from your wedding. I mean, yes. it's, it's a beautiful video. Thank it really you. is. I mean, not only are you an amazingly beautiful bride, oh, thank um, you. but the video itself is just really, really well done. Yeah. It was so exciting. So when, when the song went viral and I was like, I need to do a music video and what am I going to do? I called my wedding videographer and I said, this is really random. Um, my song went viral on TikTok and I need to make a video of some sort. Can you give me one little vertical clip so I can share it on TikTok? And then we also do a horizontal one so I can put on YouTube or whatever. Right. And he's like, sure. And so he went through my wedding footage and spliced together. So, so I got like two wedding videos out of it. Cause I got the one from yes. when I got married with the right. song that I picked and then we remade it with my song. <laughs> and the video actually starts with Kevin, my husband, been opening the bag and like seeing the recording that says play me and listening to it for oh the first time. So that's all the real authentic footage of him listening that, to that song himself. And I'm then it chills. goes to, it's, it's really special. It will forever be my favorite song that I ever get to do just because of what it means. What it means. Know? Yeah. Oh man. Okay. Well, yeah. we'll have to, if you haven't watched the video, go watch the video yeah. for sure. It's called when I say I do today. <laughs> okay. That's exactly. Okay. Now, so tell me about this new, the new song, yeah. the long-term relationship song, not the wedding yeah, song. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. So this is called a uh, new war off and it's essentially about when you get to a point in your relationship where the new might've worn off a bit, you know, mm-hmm. and I think it's normal for relationships to go through lulls, you know, where you get lost in a little bit of the hustle and bustle in life. And some people I think in this day and age mistake that as like, Oh, we're not in love anymore. And you mm-hmm. throw the towel in, and people quit and walk away or they break up or whatever it is. And it said, this is like, okay, you're acknowledging like, 
you got to you got to prioritize each other a little bit and you got to work on this like love is work it is a yes. choice right and so this song is celebrating like you know what let's block off our calendars let's just have date nights and figure it out and because you know what we can get this back and yeah. you know I'm not going anywhere and yes the new might have wore off but we're here for good and I just think it represents it caters to a group of people which is like the long term relationship people or the married folks who you know don't always get songs like that yeah. so it puts a little bit of a spin on it which I love well I love that that. Okay, so that's the new song. Yeah. Okay, so now we talked about some of the uh, stages that you have shared. So I want to go, I want to expand on this list. Okay. I got a big list here, so I'm going to do the whole list. Sam Hunt, Dustin Lynch, Chris Jansen, Chase Rice, Ashley McBride, and Walker Hayes. I mean, those are some pretty big names. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. So when you're on stage and you're looking out at the sea of people, because there's a sea of people, because, oh, yeah. you know, th- those are big names. Like, how, how does that feel for you? You know, the bigger the crowd, the better. The bigger the space, the more people, the even more I'm like, you know, in my element. Uh, it's it's so special. And I have to say, country music fans are just so welcoming mm-hmm. and inviting. And I think people get excited about going to see openers or looking up who is the opener. Because I think everyone knows, you know, Sam Hunt was an opener at some point, right? Exactly, you know, Garth Brooks was an opener at some point. And you know, the future are the people who are the openers and stuff. And so what I've learned is like, people might say, I didn't really know you before the show or before this festival, but I looked you up. I now know all your music. So they come to the shows, even though never knowing me previously, but then knowing the songs. Right. And then they wait to meet you after at the merch table. And like, you know, you start to put names to like usernames or DMs and stuff. You finally get to meet people. And it's, it's really, it's just so special. And, um, I mean, I've got so many incredible memories with all of those artists and every venue and show is so different yeah. that, you know, it's just, you love them all for, for different reasons. It's special. So, I mean, so this is, I mean, that's, that's kind of a, a, a big thing. And as a, a, a new, newer artist, like at what point do you feel like, oh, wow, this is really my career. Like I'm, I'm doing it. Like, yeah. Like what was that moment where you were like, okay, well, this is it. Yeah. Great question. So, Right before the pandemic, this was December 2019, I was part of uh, New York's Country 94-7 Stars and Strings show at the Barclay Center. And that's the show I got to share the stage with Sam Hunt and Chris Jansen, and they were a part of the show. And um, the the head of the station called me, and they're so incredible. And even though they're they're not anymore, but they were a large market station, I was one of the only independent artists that they put me in rotation uh, and played on the radio, nice. which was really special. And so they've been so supportive. And so they called me and they said, will you sing, because it's Stars and Strings honoring military and veterans, they said, would you sing the national anthem at the Barclay Center for 15,000 people in your hometown arena? And I was uh, like, yes. of course. <laughs> and the thing that I will never forget is right before I walked out, I was backstage I had the mic. They're like, you know, get ready. Um, the program director, John Fox, he said, um, Barclay Center, please welcome country star and hometown girl, <gasps> Carolyn Miller. And so to get that, I have the, like, I my chills. Arm, I get chills, like, I know, hairy, <laughs> like sticking up right now. And so to get that intro and then be handed a microphone and go out on a stage and sing yeah. for 15,000 people in the, one of the New York City arenas right before Sam Hunt takes the stage and this one takes the stage with that intro was just like, okay. <gasps> You know, it was like, yeah, yeah. That was where it was like, wow, we're doing it. We're done. We've, we've done, done it. You know, yeah, you've done, done it. You've done, done, done it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can, I can, and I've not seen you perform yeah. live, which I actually would like to come. I would love it. that. Because I can tell with your energy, I can see that you, you really do love performing. Yeah. Like you can just, you can tell from this energy. It's, I mean, it's a come party. on, right? <laughs> My goodness. Um, now, I know that you have a cute little doggy at home. We have to talk about the doggy. Yes, please. Tell me about your dog. Okay. (laughs) His name is Archie. His nickname is Archibald, also known as Goober for some reason. We call him that too. Um, He is two years old and he's a little eight pound Cavapoo puppy. So he's part King Charles Cavalier and part Poodle. And uh, he was supposed to be between 15 and 20 pounds, but he clocked out at a mean eight. My husband's eight? like, yeah, eight, 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 eight oh pounds. My, my husband's like, we did not sign up for a dog this little. And I'm like, he's always, like, we got this little white fluffy thing. He looks just like the emoji, the dog emoji that has like the brown oh, eye right, patch yeah. here. Literally a spitting image. Oh so if you want to know what he looks like. And he also has his own Instagram page because obviously. Obviously. So it's Archie underscore Cavapoo if you want to follow him too. <laughs> So you're not obsessed, not a crazy dog yeah, mom or no, anything. But yeah, but you yeah. got you got you got yourself like a a, a perch, a pouch. What do you call him? A purse, a purse pooch. Uh, 
Yeah, Chris Pooch. <laughs> that's the name like, now. That's you can fit it. You can fit it in your little bag. Yeah, You're like he's hey. all, he's high energy too, though. I don't know if he would sit like and chill. Like <laughs> he wants to like go out and see everyone. I was, I was always like that. It was like there's no way like with any of my animals, they were always like psycho because I think maybe they're more like me. I yeah, <laughs> they do say they imitate their owners, right? Mm, yeah, <laughs> not gonna be sitting still for anything. <laughs> that's right. So okay, so you know you've you've been on stage with these amazing artists. You've got yeah. this career going. Is there anyone that you would want to collaborate with that you maybe have a vision where you're like, man, that would be a great collaboration? Um, Shay Mooney of Dan and Shay. Ah, yes. I mean, or Dan and Shay. Dan, both yeah, of them. Dan but, and Shay. but I think just getting on stage with a microphone in my hand and in Shay's hand and us just power singing something out, I think would just be so thrilling. Oh, that's awesome. And, you know, our, our, I think our voices and style would just be a really fun match. And yeah, so if you're listening. So there you go. Dan and Shay, you just got called out. Uh, we're looking for a collaboration here. <laughs> here I am, boys. Right, exactly. She's right away. Uh, so now, when you came in, we talked a little bit about your favorite foods. We had a, uh, a question from our audience, our live audience, uh, who said, okay, what's your favorite food? So yeah. we got to talk about this. Yes. So, so you said... Mexican, hands down. Mexican. Specifically, my favorite food is a margarita. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when I determined that she's my new best friend. Yes, and we're getting margaritas after this. So. Yes, so there you go. So, yes, yeah, got to have the margaritas. That's with- right. The guac, the chips... Maybe a taco, a quesadilla, depending on my mood. Okay. We love an enchilada, the burrito. If you're oh, being yeah. skinny, burrito bowl, sub brown <laughs> rice, because then it doesn't count. But then my husband's always like, because we'll go to like Qdoba or Chipotle, and I'll be like, oh, I'm going to do a bowl today, brown <laughs> rice. And then we get like to like the fixings, and I'm like, sour cream. Yeah. Like, okay. They're like, cheese, cheese. Yes. Uh, queso, yes. And Kevin's like, you know you just killed that entire. I was like, listen, there's some salad and brown rice in there. It's still as healthy. Exactly. They cancel each other out. It's good. Yeah. Right? You know. It's yeah. minus calories. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, you go negative that way. <laughs> well, are you ready to play a little game? I love games. Okay, good. Well, I have my world-famous game that we play on Up and Country. It's called Truth or Truth. I've got a couple of questions for you. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, hold on. Let me get my, my handy-dandy little basket Ooh, right, right here. Yeah. Okay, you get to pick your own questions. <gasps> Fun! Yay! Okay, Okay. <laughs> ready? Not cheating. Okay. What's the most disgusting thing you've ever done? <laughs> now we're getting we're going to tell some secrets, aren't we? I, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly though, I, I'm a re- I'm from New York City, like Long Island, New York, and I'm a really girly girl. So I don't feel like I don't get out in the wilderness and the woods a whole lot to like really I don't the most disgusting thing I've ever done. I mean, do you like to like get your 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 toes in like mud and squishing mud. Or no, like that. she's like, nah, nah, nah. no. I'm a girl who gets my nails done every two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I enjoy like, believe me, I enjoy like running around playing sports and doing some friends. Sure. But I don't know, disgusting. Like, I've never been hunting. Like, I've never okay. like, I only held a gun for the first time a few years ago. Like, you know, I, I don't know. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever done. And how how uh, how was that though for like your first time with a gun? Well, they warned me, like, they threw about six towels on my shoulder because they were like, the kickback is a real thing. And then when my other friends were shooting, they are like, hold your ears. And I'm like, what? And then I was like, oh, I get it. I get it now. (laughs) I don't know. I don't really, I don't know if I have disgusting things. Okay. She's not disgusting. We've, okay, we've just (laughs) determined... Carolyn Miller, <laughs> not disgusting. Yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't have one for okay, you. Then sorry. that's okay. Can I, can I get a redo? Yes, <laughs> we're going to do a couple of these for sure. Wow, I sound so lame. Okay, what is something that no one else knows about you? Ooh, that's a good one. Okay. okay. I'll give you one silly one, and then I'll give you one serious okay, one. Good. Okay, good. Okay. I would say more of a lighter silly thing is I have a big background as a dancer. Oh. And I'm actually an award-winning choreographer. <gasps> Fun fact. Really? I did teach some competition dance teams, tap, jazz, lyrical, all the things. Wow. And this whole um, production number that I created based on a summertime, which is ironic because I have a song called Summertime, but it started with high school musical schools out into like itsy bitsy yellow bikini into like all the stuff. And it was an all ages number and it won first place at a national dance competition. Fun. So that's, that's something random. And then I'll say something a little more serious is I've been having crazy psychic dreams oh, that have been coming okay. true. Really? Really. So this is a, this is, this is like a little bit of a downer, but it's crazy. Cause I think this is like a 
just a wild thing. I had a dream about a plane crash. Uh-oh. And I told my husband, I was like, I had this dream, and in the dream I saw the plane go vertical straight down, and it said east on the side of the plane, and I don't know why. So I told him the next day, I was like, I have a feeling there's going to be like a horrible plane crash. And he's like, I don't know. And a day later, that was when the China East plane crash happened in Stop. about like three or four months ago. And literally, and the thing that's crazy is plane crashes aren't often caught yeah. on video. Yeah. They had a video of the plane completely oh, nosedive, and the airline was China East. Isn't that nuts? And then a week later, I, I had it. a dream with a, uh, an invitation to my cousin's baby shower. I'm like, Amanda's not pregnant. My parents call me the next day. Guess what? Amanda's pregnant. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. I don't know what's happening. I'm a witch. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. I dream about good things and bad things. But I guess that's another. <laughs> is that a fun fact? It's just I'm a like, fact. I don't know if it's fun. That's but. interesting. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like. Hey, yo, Carolyn, what'd you dream about last yeah. night? Yeah. <laughs> so, no, so I had this, I'm like, should I, as I start falling asleep, like, should I try to start, like, channeling Oh, things? there you go. But then I'm a little oh, scared, because I'm like, I don't know. Good stuff. When the dreams come to me randomly, I'm okay with it, but I don't know if You'd I start, like, uh, like, tapping into this too much. It might be a little weird. You can tap in and be like, oh, oh look, I saw myself in the circle at the Grand Ole Opry. Oh. Yeah, 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 there yeah. we go. That works, right? I'm going to start, like, a TikTok channel. You know Hannah Dasher? She's got the cooking one. Oh, uh-huh. I'm just going to, like, sing a country song, and then be like, and now I'm going to tell your future. <laughs> I'm going to be like, <laughs> well, I like that. I think you can get away with that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I think, I think you could. So I would watch it. Ego is I would the watch it. Teller. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll do we'll do one more. Okay. This is fun. This is great. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. This is a fun one. Who was your first celebrity crush? Oh, okay. I feel like I had a lot. Um, <laughs> she I just was, got excited. I did. I did. I did. <laughs> okay, I would say my first two that I can remember as a kid were the so Josh Hartnett. I loved him. I had posters of him on my wall. Big fan. <laughs> I loved, you know the movie Air Bud? Do you remember, like, it was oh, a movie from, yeah, like, the nice, like, the little so, yeah. basketball kid and, like, right. the golden retriever? The dog, yes. The little 12-year-old boy who, like, owned Air Bud. I was, like, obsessed with him when I was, like, Aww. seven. And then the other ones were the three boys from a movie called Ninja's Knuckle Up. Three Ninjas Knuckle Up. I think it was, like, Jackie <laughs> Chan or something. And I just thought those little boys were so cute. So and I was, like, cute. seven, like, mm. Oh, I, <laughs> I like you. Cute boys. <laughs> cute boys. Those ninjas. Yeah, those were my first few. I don't know who technically was first, but they were of the first category. Okay, well, good. We're getting the inside scoop here. Yeah. From Carolyn Miller. Yeah. Um, well, I want to thank you for being here today. Yeah, thank this you. This so was much. super fun. Uh, definitely, we're going to be following uh, what you got going on. Yeah. Uh, I, Go go get the uh, the album. Go download. Get the song. Yeah. Follow on Spotify. All those things. Uh, and uh, we'll, we're going to do more of this here at Up and Country. So thank this you is again. so fun. And actually, fun fact I want to share. Yes. So um, I know you said you want to come see a show. Yes. I have one here in Nashville that's going to be happening pretty regularly. I want to tell you about really quickly. Okay. Yes. So I started this thing um, with my friends over at Women of Country. Uh-huh. And so once a month, I'm hosting a residency here in town, and it's all female artists and songwriters. And we have some pretty big names pending for the next one, which is July 26. But it's monthly here in Nashville. Okay. So I host, perform, and there's a whole bunch of amazing female artists, so you'll have to come and check Okay, out. so now I just got really excited. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll have a margarita. Okay. <laughs> All right, good. Margaritas are on the, they're on the menu for sure. That's right. Yes, That's absolutely. right. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you, Sue. <laughs> Thanks for watching Up and Country. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave us a comment. We do new episodes every Tuesday, and be sure to follow Up and Country on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And you can follow me too, at Sue Bonzel on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.